if you have a, a one of these giant cameras that they use for dim light, yeah, so it's trying to imitate an owl, really, the, the sensor on the camera has to be quite large for the light to come in on a low light. So they have a, a big lens. So it's just like binoculars, a, a strong binoculars has a big sensor opening, aperture, whatever, so the light can come in. So these owl eyes, you know, they're really big, <laughs> okay? And, and they, they, the light can come in. For us, for the light to come in, we do this palming practice, yeah? So you cup your eyes and it's so dark, 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 dark. And then the muscles relax in order for the light, whatever is there to come in. It's, a, it's like a trick to the nervous system, but it's a good trick because it, it's like clearing your nervous system. When we palm like this, the muscles deeply relax so that your aperture can go wide, wide open. Yeah, it's very, very soothing. And then as you keep your eyes closed, as you bring your hands away, the lens, you know, it, it naturally closes down a little bit, but it, it, it's reset so that more light can come in. So it looks brighter when you open your eyes after doing palming because you are letting more light in. Yeah, great for depression, by the way, yeah because we need the light, especially in the winter time. That's why I'm teaching this class right now. It's winter, <laughs> really good time for us to work with nourishing light, okay? And how to relax the nervous system so that the light can come in with the least amount of effort. And it's fun to play with how would I simulate an animal or a bird what it's like to be them, just to try to even imagine what it's like to be an owl. Yeah, it's, a, it's really a fun practice for us. It certainly expands our sense of empathy with our relations in the world, not just human, but you know, all relations to all living things. Yeah, so play with having owl eyes. What does that mean to have your eyes not darting around, but really centered, but back in your skull, pull them back. Okay, so that uh, one meditation teacher says, reduce the ocular pressure, <laughs> reduce the pressure in your eyeball. So you let the eye move back into the skull. Think about the tubes going back and the light just coming to you, yeah? It helps, it helps to drop all that efforting to see. And if you wear glasses, try this without your glasses on. Even if things are a little blurry, try moving without your glasses on. And you might end up getting some cheater glasses, you know, like cheap store glasses or maybe better quality ones to, to move around in uh, that aren't quite so strong or, or, you know, if you wear progressive glasses or something like that, so that you have something that allows your eyes to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.